I really enjoy this. And I also really enjoy the fact that the depth they went to make, to make sure that you felt like you were actually the astronaut. Because the camera and the actual space helmet are two separate things. So, that's awesome. Oh, the rust? Yes, freaking please. Oh, if I can go faster now, that would be so much better. Oh my god, yes. Initializing cerebrum core diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Cerebrum core fabrication required. Then fabricate, please. Yes, do it. Cerebrum core fabrication complete. Cerebrum module repair required. Hand core data stream activated. Initializing data transfer. Alright, cool. Data transfer. Oh, you're yellow this time. Different colors. Woo. Data transfer complete. Back we go. Our business here is done. And now I can control myself again. Really impressive place, honestly. You feel so tiny. Oh, here's the thing again. Now I can't tell if I'm supposed to go up or down. Or if I'm supposed to... Do anything with anything in here. Nope, can't do anything with you, and I'm, yeah, fairly certain that I'm being sucked away. <laughs> Holy ow. Nope. Stop bumping into things. <laughs> I'm barely controlling the upward motion. I'm being pushed up. Oh, actually, no, I'm not being pushed up. I'm, the thing is just that much more effective now. It's hard to control. Um, why aren't you opening? What did I miss? The hell did I miss? Did I go into the wrong exit? I don't know where I am! Help me! Is there actually more than one exit here? Why am I just being stupid? Oh, there is. Okay, hello. Hello to you, my good sir. I am pleased to me. Isn't that straight out in space? It is, which means I need more oxygen, which means I need to get the hell back down. Oh, Jesus, I am about to freaking kill myself or run out of oxygen, either one of the two. Oxygen, I need you. I'm running solo. Please fill me up with some of that good stuff. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, that should be good enough at the very least. Where is that exit again? Right there. Okay. Onwards we go. Should have enough to make it now. Should have. Here we mother flipping go. Now I'm faster. Woohoo! Fear my superior mobility powers. Mission Director, 13 June 2037. Commander, your request to move Hand 4 Spiritus into Beta ahead of schedule is denied. While SO Hudson's pre beta contingency plan indicates success, the risk associated with an untested production increase of this magnitude is great and could endanger everything we're working for. Do not let frustration with slow-moving progress cloud your judgment and lead to poor decision-making. You must remain dedicated to our collective purpose. This is an effort to aid humanity. You are a small but important gear in a much bigger machine. Mankind above all else. Let me be perfectly clear. There is no scenario where deviating from plan is an option. 
So, because of the situation we are in now, I'm guessing that we went against his wishes. Just a guess, but I think I would be correct in that. I'm guessing I'm supposed to get in through here, or at least I hope so. Because I don't want to be out here that much longer. Please be the place I need to get to. Por favor. Please. Nope. Not the place, I don't think. Definitely not the place. Ow. Oh, shit. Ow. Owie, owie. Get the hell out of here. You, maybe? Let me just find the place where I need to get and I will be going in, okay? Is it you? Okay, there we go, there it is. Okay, once again I'm not controlling myself. On for Salvus. The next step, I suppose. Thank goodness for being in here now. Okay, so where and what do I need to do in here? Is there a computer I can access? Oh. <laughs> it's really... It's not that much space in here, I can't really move. Okay, upwards. Upwards we go, oh my... There we are, okay. I barely noticed this. Manual door override. Emerges escape vehicle. Okay. Don't tell me we, we already went through everything. Because that I freaking refuse to believe. Partly because this has been pretty epic thus far. No, I... Oh, I see. We have prepared everything for that. We are... Ah, clever girl. We have actually gone through quite a lot. Okay, um... Thing is telling me to go in that direction, so I'm going to do that. Or is it telling me to go upwards by chance? It's most likely telling me to go upwards because if I remember correctly, that's the way we went the last time. And also, there is one of those oxygen things somewhere here. There you are, right there, I see you. Don't you think you can hide from me? I see everything. And I need the oxygen. I keep running dangerously low. So where exactly do I need to head? Well, I'm just gonna be going towards where I'm guessing I'm supposed to go. Which is straight up yonder. Yep, we are here. And I suppose I can... Act oh wait, I just noticed now, they are freaking color-coded. I just noticed that right now, and we have the yellow one, if I remember correctly. So you go right over here. Yes, yellow one. Thank goodness, two out of four. Thank goodness. We are now one step closer to getting you home. Over. Holy crap, so that's an actual that's an actual live feed. That's not just a pre-recorded. Holy shit, they have contact with us. I wasn't just listening to nonsense pre-recordings. I was actually listening to people that wanted to help. Holy damn. 
that's pretty amazing. Because I thought for sure those were pre-recorded messages. For sure. Yeah, so that's the rocket we'll be launching with then later, I suppose. Seems fair enough. Okay, so where, what do I need to do now? Can I check you out and see stuff? Activating Solaris system terminal. Solaris system, damaged and offline. Initializing diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Mainframe offline. Cerebrum module inactive. Okay, so the same Solaris shit as usual. System repair required for Salvis EEV power system operation. Locate system mainframe. Fabricate cerebrum. Yeah, I know, I know. Can I skip? Repair cerebrum module. Oh, so that's how I save. Okay. Mission control to Commander Oshima. Solar power and propulsion mainframes damaged and unable to communicate with hand force cerebrum. Manual repair required for EEV charge, operation, and manual launch capability. Over. Spiritus is online. Vocalis is online. Great. So, do we only need Mobilis then? Or because there should be at least one more system that I need to activate. Well, okay, Solaris as well, I guess. Yep. Well, okay, that has been yet another one of these things. Next, we need to move in this direction. Just gonna load up my oxygen some more. And then, we're gonna call it a session. Because I find it, like, I find it kind of convenient that every time I have done one of these uh, missions fully, it's been an hour for me, and that's a pretty good session, I believe. So yeah, without further ado, we'll be ending it here, and um, starting from here, in, well, the next episode you see, and the next session for me. Um, halfway there, I believe. We have done two out of three things, or two out of four. Yeah. Feels good. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy blah, blah, blah. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying the series. If you do, then please let me know by smashing that like and sub button, leaving an awesome comment, and follow me on social media. Now have a good one and I'll see you later. <laughs>